The first week in February this year, 90 participants in 24 teams worked around the clock to create solutions for the 10 challenges of Hackfors at Atelier. By Sunday afternoon, all solutions were submitted and the three winners announced. The winners sure did a great job and really deserve all the attention they got, but for a moment we want to put the spotlight on the solutions that didn't win. The energy and spirit, knowledge and innovativeness of all of the teams and solutions completely blew our minds. Given the theme of the hackathon, which was the inclusive, sustainable and connected society, most solutions are suggesting using IoT, AI and or open or real-time data in some form. Team Lasers, for example, wants to monitor road surface conditions in real time to make maintenance more efficient. Team Designer aims to prevent accidents with wild animals by putting up sensors to detect animals getting too close to roads. Using smart home systems, including sensors, Team Bar has created a smart infrared panel that provides the healthiest and most efficient way of heating. Team Voice from Sedatel yet suggests collecting data on temperatures and creating an alert system to warn for high temperatures and a cooling spot system to go with it for elderly and heat sensitive citizens to use when the temperature is too high. Team Lillis aimed to make films possible to watch for people with hearing or visual impairment using machine learning and Team Talk Talk's solution for seamless cross-language communication is based on deep learning. Team Shabu Shabu wants us to use AI cameras to make us understand how throwing away food, for example part of a meal, affects the environment. And AI and deep learning are also the techniques Team Save Your Soul suggests using for their personalized digital first aid kit, aiming to increase mental wellness. Focusing on open data, Team Sharing is Caring, who is from a fellow municipality, see possibilities in the data we municipalities generate, and wants us to shape up our processes to provide the world with more open data to help decision-making and creating better services. Speaking of open data, we have Team Shapefiles, whose idea is closely related to the first prize winners. The Shapefiles wants to combine open data with geographic information system analysis to visualize how perceived infrastructural and physical barriers affect accessibility to the municipality's services. Also using open data, Team Bru Wepmana suggests using data on traffic conditions and when bridges open to make Sedatelia citizens make more sustainable choices when it comes to transportation. And on the transportation theme, we also have the Conscious Transportation Sedatelia team, who wants us to be more aware of the environmental impact we make when traveling short distances, and suggests showing us that impact on a map, also using ITS, an intelligent traffic system to plan and facilitate more sustainable transports. And yet another team addressing transportation is Team Equal Mobility, who describe their solution as simple design hacks that make a big difference on the ground, improving urban access for everybody and decreasing inequality. Making us act more sustainable is also the objective of Team Artemis, whose solution is an assessment tool monitoring how businesses perform in relation to environmental, social and governance standards. Acting sustainable on a community level is also what Team My Commune suggests, with a solution including elements of gamification to make us citizens take responsibility for our community and participate in its development. Team Dom Triesinnen wants to create a physical room to invite citizens who for some reason are not using digital devices or services into the world of digital experiences. Their solution would make it easier for these groups to get information from the municipality and other authorities, which is also what Team Business to Peer Collab addresses by installing padlets for official information in all homes. Also looking at decreasing exclusion is Team Safe and Secure Homegoing, whose idea the Kasambas picks up citizens in more places than public transport does. The SSHL team addresses the e-waste issue by collecting e-waste using AI bins on public transport units, and Team 5 of Kind's solution really is more one of a kind. It suggests putting gigantic mirrors in space to reflect sunlight back into space instead of it reaching Earth, increasing global warming. To all those fantastic ideas, add the three winning solutions in this hackathon. The first prize winner addressing accessibility, the second prize winning solution looking at decreasing waste from the construction industry, and the third prize winner aiming at increasing data-driven decision-making in Södertälje municipality. We feel so grateful to have been given the chance to borrow the heads and hands of all participants of Hack for Södertälje for 24 hours this February. Impressively well done all of you, and thank you so much. <laughs>